Hello, my beautiful YouTube friends, Letty here, Living Life with Letty. And in this video, I want to let you know what I have done, all the preparations that I have made to stay warm when I go to Quartzsite in January, because I know the desert gets very, very cold, especially at night. So I have, you know, reviewed and I have uh, researched and I have finally come up with what I think will work for me. Uh, but before I get started, I want to let you know something that's uh, happened to me that for me, it's very exciting because it's my very first time. I had a company that um, reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and sent me an email wanting to know if I wanted to do a video on their dash mount and in return, they would give me a free dash mount. I really didn't need one because I already have one. But I didn't want to say no because it's my very first time that anyone has ever asked me to do something like that. And I just got so excited. I, you know, I figured, sure, why not? So I kind of forgot about it. And then uh, this morning I got it in the mail. And I haven't opened it yet, but I'm going to open it and see if it's a better one than the one that I have. And, and then I can um, do a little uh, review on it. I have to read the directions and everything because it says that it has a um, wireless charger. I don't understand how that works, but I will read the reviews and find out how it works. So what I have decided to do uh, to stay warm in the desert in January at night is several things. Uh, one of the things is I found these at Walmart, this uh, shirt. And it is supposed to be like weather, all weather shirt. And uh, it really keeps you warm. It was 40 degrees this morning um, here where I live. And it was very windy. And all I had was this on. I didn't even have a coat on. And I, my body here, especially the trunk, was warm. So I think that it's a wonderful thing. I'll probably sleep in it as well. And uh, the other thing that I have done after much research and contemplation is uh, my heater. And I was going to get a little buddy heater and then, you know, I've, I've heard not too good reviews on it. They don't last, they break, they clog up, whatever. And so then I looked into the clay pot and the candle ones that are made. And um, I'm kind of afraid of candles, so I really didn't want to go that route. And then the other thing um, that um, I researched was the oil, oil one instead of the candles. And, uh, and then there's one that looks very safe, the candle one. It's like a lantern with candles and it heats up. But you have to buy the candles from them and they're really pricey. So that wasn't going to work for me either. So I'm going to do what Bob Wells says uh, in a couple of his videos he uses his either butane or propane stove and i have a little one burner uh butane stove i will make sure my windows are cracked uh, adequately and i'm also going to get a carbon monoxide reader to make sure that you know and and i don't plan on leaving it on all night or for hours or anything like that because my van is so small i just want to be able to get the chill out of it at night before I go to bed and especially in the morning when I wake up so I can get dressed because when it is cold it's you know you don't want to get from under the covers so those are the only two times that I plan on using it and I think it's going to work and then also I bought a hot water bottle it came with a cute sweater and then I can heat my water on my stove which, you know, I can warm up the van as I'm doing that. And then I'll have the hot water bottle with me. And my friend Tammy uh, gave me a down comforter. And so, you know, down is pretty warm. And then I, underneath it, I'm going to have my 12-volt electric blanket. And then on top of it, I'm going to have a blanket plus my bedspread. So I think that I'm going to have enough blankets. I'm bringing a couple of extra my van up above has room, so I'm going to stick a couple of extra blankets up there just in case. And then, you know, I'm getting warm socks, and I also have a knit hat, and I have a, I bought a uh, coat at Walmart for $25, but it's really warm, and it's very light. It's not heavy. So that's, I think all those things are going to keep me warm. I'm going to wear long johns underneath my uh, pants 
to make sure that my legs and my thighs stay warm. So I think, um, you know, taking all those precautions, I think that I'm going to stay relatively warm. Uh, I just don't want to deal with a lot of, uh, pro, you know, a lot of heaters that, because it, they, they scare me. And I think the little stove on top of my table where I can just turn it on and off and just get the, the coldness out, I think that's going to be the best bet. And also, I'm going to my friend Story's house uh, right after Christmas, and she's going to insulate the two back windows and the side windows on the doors that slide open because those windows get so cold. And uh, this way, it'll be on there. We're going to use the same uh, one-half-inch foam board covered with flannel. And then she's going to put it with um, uh, the real good uh, um, industrial strength Velcro. And that way, if I want to take them off, I can take them off. Or if I want them left on, which I'll probably leave them on. Because the side ones that she did for the side walls, if you saw that video, those have really helped a lot. When I was uh, camping in Arizona at night a couple of nights, it got a little chilly. And at least those side walls weren't getting cold. And then, and then during the day when it was really warm, the side walls weren't warm. So it's really helped. Just those two pieces of insulation helped an awful lot. So I think when the windows are done, then it's going to really make a big difference. So that's all I have for today. I do go on Thursday to get my uh, surgery for my left eye. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to do a video on that. It, you know, either way, I'm going to do a video and let you know what's going on with that. So thank you again, my friends, for watching, for subscribing. I love you all. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And until then, my friends, may the sun shine on you today and every day, especially on your solar panels. I love you all. Bye-bye.